You know, after I shot that last video, um, when I installed all the upgrades, which consisted of the shock set, the rear links, as well as the front links, and the rear swing arms, I realized that <laughs> it was dark by the time I was done. I wasn't able to get back out and do a follow-up run with that makeshift tire jump that I had in the street. <laughs> so this morning I got up, beautiful day, and so I took it out to a proper track. There's the track. Looks like they fixed it up a little bit. Might have to stand up here to drive, but uh, at least we got some way to test it out. <laughs> that jump, wow, she donkey kicked on that one. Long darted. Okay, I'm gonna have to. All right, more gas in the air on that one. Yeah. All right, let's see. Okay, so the track actually goes like this. It goes here, you go around this way. There's some overgrown, it's overgrown over there, so it's hard to make out. But you go up here, you turn, you come this way, there's a jump, another jump, and then a turn here. Uh, <laughs> I'm going slow so I, I don't have to marshal myself right away. You come up here, then there's a jump. Ah, oh, come on, come on. All right. <laughs> and you go straight. Now, it gets squirrely when it gets back up into here, but you go around, come this way, jump. Oh, almost. <laughs> Another jump. Turn here. You can get over here. It's a jump. And then into this tight hairpin. And then there's a carpeted jump there. And then I guess this is like the straightaway portion. So let's... <laughs> So now I'm going to try to power through in the areas where I don't think I'm going to wreck. And remember, I have trash depth perception. <laughs> oh, I'm off the track already. <laughs> Okay, we oh we stuck. Let's see. Four wheel drive, baby. All right. All right. Oh, oh. All right. So I was way up there. <laughs> All right, not so bad. So I have I I created kind of a half a track here. So now I'm coming from here, cheating it through here, and coming. Hitting the jump, I'm trying to get these two jumps good. Coming around this section. Cheat. 
<laughs> jump <laughs> on the inside line here it wants the donkey kick in the middle is mild and on the other side it really wants to get some air so I'll show you that uh, come on <laughs> Donkey kick, see? <laughs> Pirouettes. <laughs> you gotta be careful out here because they use like rail ties to hold big spikes to hold down these uh tubes. Yeah, but this is fun. Donkey kick! <laughs> All right, now let's go for the big track now. New cheese section. <laughs> I'm trash. <laughs> I'm so trash. I'm so trash. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. <laughs> all right, let's let's try to do this. Come on, Briss. Cheat section, shortcut. Rhythm section. Sharp turn. Full out. It's hard to see that. I, maybe I should go stand over there. Oh, almost got that turn. Rhythm section. Sharp turn. Full throttle. Cheat. Big Bridge TV and the number 80 truck. He's starting to get his bearings on the track. How does he not die? <laughs> Keep smelling burnt rubber out here and it's making me think it's the truck but I know it's not I know I'm not yelling and hooting and hollering while I'm driving but that's because I'm trying to concentrate but this is super fun for me man I could be out here all day and I'm glad I bought two packs I could easily have bought a bunch of more I have two 3s packs but I could have bought I have like six 2s packs 
and you don't need 3S out here with this because there's really no, no reason for it. Except maybe <laughs> to get some more wheel speed in the air with those. Let's try that again. Let's see if wheel speed would have helped. Yeah, definitely. Uh, camera mount on my forehead is digging in, it's killing me. Oh man, look. Okay, race day's over. I broke a link. Obviously, the truck is proper dusty <laughs> at this point. I really get to try out that uh, dust blower that I bought, but we have some issues right off rip. Look at the rear, <laughs> she's wagging. <laughs> and that's because one of the rear links broke. So that snapped off. The other one is still in there tough. So that's why we got this sh shimmy action going on like this. So I do have the, the stock ones, obviously. Let me get this unplugged. But the front seems okay. And she, I think she performed really well. <laughs> the arms have gotten some uh, introductory pitting. I noticed something in the back too here. These wheels, they used to be kissing and now this one's kind of loose. These things were horizontal, I think, when I took it out. And now they're <laughs> vertical. And uh, something is bent over here, I'm guessing. So I don't think anything is broken. I'll give her a once over and again, we're gonna have to get that body off in order to uh, change out some of this stuff though. The shocks that I got, some of them are missing um, the seals and are leaking. And I figured with all this dust, I'll be able to see if we got any leakage. And it looks like up in there, it's kind of gunky. So I'm pretty sure that shock is leaking there. They're already sending me a replacement set because of that. So when those come, I'll get those on and see if they perform better than the originals. And if not, I'll just put the original stuff back on. So it looks like the body might have just come in out of this body button. And look here, this is one of those seals from the shocks. And the shocks, even though they were factory sealed in a bag, it, they had varying stages of oil in them. And there was no signs of oil leaking inside the bag. So I, I'm guessing they were returned and then just put back in another bag and sealed up. It's like, oh, there it goes. So... <laughs> yeah, that wasn't supposed to be stuck in there like that. Okay, yeah, so that that worked. Just got bent up a little bit, bent out of shape as it were. All right, so when those new shocks come in and <laughs> the new links come in, I'll uh, do an update on this video. The other thing is, since I've been <laughs> paying so much attention to this, my Mojave been getting jealous. <laughs> so what I did was I went out and picked up a rear, some rear lights. That looks pretty trick. Yeah, so now she's got some proper rear LEDs <laughs> in the back to go with the light bar that we already had in the front. So she's a proper desert truck now. <laughs> so that track over there in Bronx Park is in a hundred times better shape than it was the last time I was there. So I look forward to going back and doing my part to keep it operational. Operational <laughs> for those of us who like running RCs. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll take the Mojave out there too. Uh, next time I go and see if we can get some proper laps. So let me know if there's something specific you want to see with either one of these trucks or any other truck for that matter. And I have a nice buggy coming in, so hopefully that'll work. And it's going to be my comparison, what I was going to do with the Ar Arma Typhon Grom. And this is another four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive buggy, uh, four-team scale, so we'll see about that. In the meantime, what I need you to do is subscribe and then watch this video. And after you're done, watch this video. Everybody stay well, and I'll catch you on the next one.